In this Hello World example, let's grab a label and drag it onto the canvas area. A double click to allow us to enter the text. And we can align it to the center. Let's drag a button underneath our label. Again, we double click to enter the text. Let's have a look at the response property for this uh, button. If we click here, it allows us to bind a, an indicator called button exit to this button. This indicator is in the display file. If we click on the canvas area, we can enter the record format name for this display file. The description is optional, but we'll enter a description in our example here. It's Hello World Record Format. The document title is also optional, but we'll put one here as well. Hello World. Let's go and save this DDS source member. So we enter our library name. In this case, it's my library. The member name is Hello World. The text, of course, is optional, but we'll enter it here. Hello World Rich Display File. Now let's compile the source into a display file. We confirm the location and the rich display file is now created. Let's minimize the designer and have a look at the RPG code we've written to run this. Basically an execute format on the record format and the program ends. Okay, to launch we need to enter our program into a list of anonymous programs. These are programs that can run without a sign-on. Let's add that. Now to launch our program we just enter the, the program name and the library. And click launch. There's our program launched in a browser. If we click the exit button, it'll take us back to an end of session notice. And that's all there is to it for our Hello World example.